Sarah Hector with TV TV, and I am joined by one of our wonderful trades, Thomas Robinson. Second year, going into your second year in the league now, and you've been on three teams, but now it seems like you've landed and found a place that's going to be a good fit. Can you explain the fit to Portland compared to your past stops? Um, it was a younger team. Well, I was on the younger team in Houston also, but uh, you know, it's a lot of young talent here, and you know, I think I could fit in perfectly with this team. You know, as far as pace coaching style and also you know just the players around you know young guys who want to win. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your style of basketball. We know that you're a big strong guy, love to rebound <laughs> and such and then you're gonna be playing with LaMarcus Aldridge. Combine those two things for us. Um, well of course LaMarcus is closest to any big in the league as far as being you know best at skill wise and you know those are things that I need to I need to get better at. You know as far as me just doing what I do as far as rebounding and you know defensive uh, I can help this team a lot, and you know I, I think I expect to learn from LaMarcus a lot. What's the marquee strength of your game, do you think? Um, energy. Energy? Great. Yeah. Tell us your basketball story, like growing up from the beginning. When did you get hooked? When did you know you were going to go to the NBA? Uh, well, um, I played younger uh, just for fun, and then I played multiple sports up until junior year high school, and then it just strictly became basketball. Uh, I made a couple moves. As far as basketball, then I went to Kansas University. Um, I paid my dues there, uh, left junior year, and I'm here now. Yeah, you had a fantastic junior year. What made That's you decide? Was it was it the stats that year that made you decide to leave and come to the NBA? Uh, it was more of a, a family, you know, decision of what I had to do, and um, my, my stats helped a lot also. Yeah, <laughs> so it, it was, was a, good thing. a great year for you. Can you tell us who your biggest influence in your life is? Uh, my sister. Your sister? Yeah. It's Jayla, right? Yeah. And how old is she now? She's 10 now. She's 10? She's getting big. Um, growing up, who was your favorite basketball player? Growing up, my favorite basketball player. Or who do you now emulate your game after? You know, you're always looking to, to vets as mentors and such. Is there anybody that you really well, take a lot from? There's multiple players. Uh, I just try to steal you know, everything from those guys and put it all to one. Hopefully, I can become better. So uh, I have a list, actually. So. I mean, it's multiple. Yeah. But uh, growing up, um, does it have to be my position? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> well, I love Kobe growing up, so mm -hmm. I mean, that was just one of the things. Yeah, and then playing against him, what was that like the first time you take the floor going against the guy that you really like? I up? think Kobe's the only player that I probably got shell shocked at looking this year. You know what I'm saying? Just because I. Um, it was Kobe was that player when I was younger growing up, you know, kind of like how LeBron has the league now, Kobe was that player. Absolutely. Now well, let's go back to you coming to, to Portland. When you heard about the trade, what was your initial reaction? Um, honestly, I was, <laughs> I was upset. Yeah? Not about coming to Portland, mm -hmm. but upset of my situation and more just adding on top of the year that I had. Um, you know, I just, I was angry, but I was excited just to get here, you know, to, to start over. Did any conversation that you maybe had with Neil or anyone in the front office change that initial reaction to make it so that you're happy to be here now? Yeah, um, like I said, I wasn't upset that I came here. I was upset more of how it happened, you know, and how my rookie year went. But, um, you know, Neil pretty much just capitalized on what I, I came to the conclusion to myself was that, you know, get back to the player that I am. Mm -hmm. you know? Do you feel like those moves give you kind of a chip on your shoulder and then now going into summer league? going to have a second chance to really show yourself and solidify a spot on, on this roster? Yeah, exactly. Um, put a bigger chip on my shoulder. Uh, I never felt this disrespected as a basketball player. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like I want to fix that first. Does that motivate you? Are you one of those people that takes those kinds of things to, yeah. to just prove people wrong? I take it to heart, actually. Yeah, so, yeah. absolutely. Okay, well, let's go through some rapid fire stuff. What's okay. your favorite food? Corn. Corn? <laughs> like corn on the cob or yes, like cream corn? corn? Any type of corn. Did you put like pepper on it? Butter? Butter, pepper, sugar. Butter, pepper, sugar. Wait, did you say sugar? Yes. You put sugar on your corn on the cob? Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Who? Uh, ah, I don't know. I'm a big movie person. Um, Step Brothers? Step Brothers. Oh, good choice. <laughs> really good choice. Um, how about your favorite type of music? Um... I would say rap, but I'm more versatile now, so it would be R&B and rap. What was the last concert that you went to? Last concert I went to was uh, BT Wars account. That's not a concert, right? Uh, it's 
it's kind of a concert, but not like a real concert. Okay, Drake was the last concert. <laughs> Drake, I went to. everyone is saying that. Yeah. Everybody loves Drake. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then uh, tell us one thing about you that no one else would know, whether it's funny or goofy, whatever. Um, let's see. I'm learning how to play the guitar. That is fantastic. Acoustic yeah. or electric? Electric. Electric. There you go. Thank you all for joining us, Sarah Heck for TV TV and Thomas Robinson.